The Mile High City could become a retreat for those seeking hallucinogenic experiences with magic mushrooms. There's a measure which could decriminalize them in the city. Fox News correspondent Alicia Acuna has the story. When it comes to hallucinations, Denver wants to stand alone by decriminalizing magic mushrooms. This is a real opportunity for Denver to be a leader when it comes to drug policy and to create an environment where individuals feel like they have a safety net to speak about their personal use. The strategy appears to be following the roadmap of marijuana. In 2005, Denver voters took the first major step toward legalized recreational marijuana, approving a ballot measure to decriminalize possession. Years later, in 2012, Colorado voters amended their constitution to allow for sales. Nobody deserves to go to jail and lose their family, their livelihood, their jobs. Um, for something that has a therapeutic benefit. Supporters of psychedelic mushrooms point to Johns Hopkins University researchers who recommended a reclassification of psilocybin to reflect possible medical benefits. The measure's language claims magic mushrooms help with reduced psychological distress, reduced suicide, and decreased risk of opioid use. A clinical toxicologist with the Rocky Mountain Poison and Drug Center tells Fox News some of the typical side effects of psychedelics include dilated pupils, increased heart rate and blood pressure, visual hallucinations, and sensory and time distortions, which could lead to a bad trip. Some of the more serious symptoms could be seizures, uh, a panic disorder. It could trigger pan panic. It could trigger a psychotic outbreak. Um, and those might require somebody to go to the hospital for medical treatment. If passed, a policy review board would be created to include police, the sheriff's department, and the district attorney's office. The Denver mayor's office says it does not support this measure. In Denver, Alicia Acuna, Fox News.